What is going on, Poke fans? We are back with another Pokemon video, but this one is a little bit different. And no, it's not because my main computer's in the shop right now. It's because Kanto Native issued me a challenge. And as we all know, I love a good challenge. Now, if you don't know his channel, he's a card collector, but he has a really cool twist to how he does it. And I'm sure no matter how I describe it, it's not going to do it anywhere near the justice it deserves. But I'm going to try anyway. So basically, he's found a way to make opening cards a competitive sport. That's right, you heard me here. Not the actual playing, but opening. So basically, it's kind of like fancy football, where if you get a rare card, you get a point. If you get, you know, a special whatever card, you get a point. And you add it up, and you see what your opponent does, and whoever, you know, has a better week, obviously wins. It's, it's a really cool concept. And uh, y'all should head over to his channel right now and check it out. The link is in my description. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Go do it. Go do it now. But make sure to come back. Alright, well, if you did decide to come back, welcome back. Um, so basically, a few days ago, he was showing off some cards. And he happened to come across an old Pikachu card. And actually, it was this card right here. And it made me all nostalgic, made me want to bust out my old set and, you know, reminisce about all the old cards I used to have back in the day. So, he challenged me to show off my top five favorite cards from back in the day. Back in the Gen 1 days. So, here we go. And I'm just going to say these are in no particular order, just kind of, you know, whatever order my binder has them in. At number one, we got Mew. Now this card isn't really rare, actually it's quite the opposite. I, I believe they were uh, handing these out by the hundreds back in the uh, the late 90s. You, you couldn't uh, take more than two steps without some random person you giving this card. But, you know what, Mew, to this day, is still one of my favorite mythical Pokemon. And uh, that's actually why, in my binder, he is on page one first card. I mean, that that's... That's how much I really like this Pokemon. So, at number two, we got Omastar. And honestly, there's no other reason why uh, why he's on this list other than I just really, really liked the uh, the artwork back then. And even now, I, I just really kind of think it's, I don't know, it's not really terrifying, but he looks really menacing. I thought that looked really cool. So, there you go, Omastar, number two. Simple as that. So at number three is Machamp. And one thing I thought was really cool back in the day, even to this day, is how they individually wrapped them. Um, I don't know if that's something that's common now, but back then, I, he's the only one I got that's like this. And uh, if you go by this random website here, it's worth a pretty penny, so... Yeah, not too shabby. Alright, so at number four is my boy Snorlax. I mean, this Pokemon has been an absolute favorite of mine overall, just in every aspect. Card collecting, competitive, gameplay. Ever since Pokemon Red, where he was, you know, blocking the road. Um, I don't know, I, I just fell in love with the Pokemon. I, I liked his background. I, I, liked, I liked everything about it. So, not only is he probably one of my favorite cards, but he's just one of my favorite Pokemon overall. And actually, I don't still card collect to this day, but when they uh, came out with this set, I made sure to go and buy it. Now, I'm never going to open it, and uh, I, I never plan on opening it, but it looks really cool sitting above, you know, on a shelf overlooking my computer. So, so Snorlax, number four, all-time favorite though, number one in reality. And finally, we got ourselves Scyther. And uh, Scyther's on this list, not only because the artwork looks cool, but I actually use him a lot competitively to this day. Uh, more so than uh, Scyther. Uh, he's fast, he's bulky when you put an Eevee Light on him, and give him that sword stance, and he could punch a nice little hole through anybody's team. So, that's why he's on this list as well. I know, you know, card collecting and competitive battles are two different things, but you know what? My love for Pokemon, that's that's all one big giant, I don't know, circle, clump, pile. I don't know. I don't know the good word for it, but uh, yeah, there it is. 
All right, so there you have it, my top five favorite cards from Gen 1. And other than the box of Snorlax, I haven't really collected since, you know, back then. But I, I kind of want to get back into it. I just really don't have the money. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this quick little video. And as soon as I get my computer back, I'll be uploading another battle then. So, until then, hope you have a wonderful day and take care. Alright, bye.